What's up guys, Kevin here, uh, back with another video. I have a video today on the new Jown 990V3s in the black brown. Uh, the release of this happened, uh, I believe it was early May, and it was a little bit of a hectic release. When they uploaded the password, they put the wrong answer to the password question. If I remember correctly, it, the first question was, what are the lace colors and everybody typed in black which is the correct answer but the actual answer was the number four because that was the answer to another question which was how many j's are there in jown uh, so that number four and then uh, the black eventually came up as the lace color and then the next question was um, where was the, the the promotional shots for this shoot uh, was announced or where it was shot I met um, that was in London so it was a bit of a hectic release but I was able to grab two pairs one in a size eight one in a size eight and a half uh, I personally uh, I'm an eight and an eight and a half in most shoes uh, I prefer actually an eight in this but yeah so here is the shoe I just got in or got it in today and I'll compare it with the V4s as well as the new Made in USA uh, like Teddy release. So here's the box. It is an all black box, very similar to the V4 box, except it has brown text. And sadly, this did not come with any sort of extra lace, it just came with the normal uh, paper. I do wish that it came with brown colored lace uh, just because I thought it might actually look better than the black but alas they made us pay more for less if that makes sense I mean to be fully honest not a lot of people use the alternate laces but I do think that a a brown lace would look nice I might even somehow try and swap it out for cream lace uh, but here is the shoe So starting off, uh, not terrible quality. It has uh, all around suede. Let's see if you can focus on that. Yeah, there we go. Uh, you can focus on that suede. Uh, relatively short haired, let's say it has some sort of movement, but nothing uh, too crazy. Yeah, there we go. Um, 990 on the back. Same sort of construction as the green pair. I still haven't gotten the green pair in hand. I may try and pick it up soon. Uh, I personally do think that the green pair is probably better looking than this. Um, I, I mainly like the different color distribution in the green pair a bit more. Uh, I do think that there might have been an opportunity to make like a cool nighttime pair because they originally had a brown pair like this, but that was for the first release. And if I remember correctly, that was like one of 100. Uh, that was when New Balance was still testing out its collaborative abilities and they did a small run with a bunch of different collaborators on the 990v3. Uh, so here's the suede. Uh, same sort of inside, jowned on the insole, blacked out tongue with the webbing. Uh, I will say that the webbing is more consistent, but my biggest issue is the QC in the shape. So let's compare the left and the right shoe, right? You can see that the right shoe, that center piece is clearly off while the left shoe looks pretty straight, but it's pretty darn noticeable from the side. I think it just looks so like janky. The shape is definitely not not really what I was looking for, I will say. It's it's so different from the left and the right, as well as like, there's just extra like fabric feel, if that makes sense. Um, like this has a little bit of extra like fabric on the nylon here. Um, so not the biggest fan of the QC, and that's why I wanted to show you the other pair as well. This is an eight and a half. And this QC is also a little bit off. 
in the toe area, it's a bit weird. And it's kind of noticeable in the quality of the suede as well. This one's so nappy, that makes sense. And then versus this one, this is the same pair, you know, like they're both eight and a half. And you can clearly see there's some suede inconsistencies as well. Maybe they sourced different suede. And, you know, pair to pair variation is like pretty, like this is the same pair, but like even left and right, it's quite different. Just suede wise too it's it's kind of wild um i don't remember them having two actually i remember my 992s also having some sort of uh issues with it but yeah the shape is just different on all the pairs so that was also an issue that they sort of had with the made in usa but i do think that the shape was a lot more consistent in the teddy uh, I think it was the Marblehead colorway. I do think that the shapes were a bit more consistent on this. Uh, and then honestly, personal opinion wise, I do think that this pair was, in my eyes, a bit more worth it. Mainly just because the value of this is pretty much identical as the value of that. If anything, you get two sets of laces, and I do prefer the feeling of these laces more than the ones included with the Jowns. The Jowns, I don't really like the feeling of the laces. Um, and just pure wearability, I think this is definitely more of a wearable uh, shoe. Uh, if you're gonna be wearing those uh, at night or outside, and, or not even outside, like hiking, that one I feel like could be a bit more city dwelling. Um, as well as the suede quality and the suede thickness, I do think that the Made in USA Teddies uh, did provide you a bit more, uh, just in my opinion, as well as I preferred the inside netting, or I guess the fabric to be sort of like this sort of netting material instead of the felt-ish material that they have on the Jowns. Uh, sort of similar to the V4s, the V4s have sort of that like netting material on the inside, so I thought that was a bit more comfortable. Uh, as well as the suede material on the Jowns. I've worn my V4s a lot, uh, like in the snow as well. I felt like the suede materials on the Jowns uh, are just a hair bit nicer than the V3s. I, again, I don't have the green pair to compare to, uh, but even comparing to the 992s, just straight off my memory, uh, I feel like the V4s have better suede than the 992s and about the same as the V3s, but, Again, I haven't worn the V3s before. Um, well, the Maiden Teddy V3s, I've worn V3s in general before. Uh, but I do really like how this material feels in hand and also just the shape of it. I feel like it's a bit more of a better representation of what I think a V3 should look like. If that helps, you can kind of tell it's a bit more better sloped down and it kind of cuts off. Um, I don't know. I just like how the Maiden Teddies look a bit more aesthetically as well as just shape wise. I feel like I constantly go back and forth with uh, with Jound. I feel like they do produce quality products. Maybe this will grow on me. Maybe it'll grow on me. Um, I do plan on keeping at least one pair, but just, I don't know which one, the eight or an eight and a half. I did say that the eight fit better, but the shape of it is just like, Completely whack. I just think it looks crazy. Um, just kind of on feet. I think it looks a bit goofy. Uh, but the the brown that they use, I like the brown. Again, I like the brown that they use, but I'm just not a huge fan. That's also why I didn't really like uh, the beef and broccolis all that much, just because it looks too. I don't know how to say it. Like mountaineering boot-ish, like classic, like the Danner boots that they released. It kind of has that sort of same sort of vibe. Um, like rather than a classic like heritage sneaker, which is something that I kind of want from Jown. Again, can pick up the green ones because I think those ones look very nice and heritage. Now, what I think it would have been cool for them to do, man, I think a mustard pair could have been cool or like a, um, a veg tan V3 would be also super cool where it's like an untanned uh, pair as well as like a veg tan pair or maybe even like I don't know but it's it's pretty 
it's pretty interesting. I do hope that they keep on doing it and I do hope that they have uh, like different products lined up. Uh, I do think that in my eyes, I feel like the giant tier list of sneakers, at least New Balance sneakers, would be the original uh, V3s. And then the next would be the green V3s. And then next would be the brown 992s, green 992s, or actually, I take that back. The brown V3s, green V3s, the V4s, the two 992s, they're about the same. And then I'll put this guy pretty much at the bottom. I, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I just do think that they dropped the ball on the shape as well as um, I felt like the materials of this, especially since it came out so close to this that I almost feel like this kind of spoiled me in terms of like the quality of the materials because this feels nice. This feels real nice. Um, the marble head and I, and for the prices that this is going for, this is going for like low 300s while this is going for high 300s, 400s even uh, in certain sizes. Man, I do think that this is worth it. And I'm sure they're gonna release more colorways uh, of the Made in Teddy. And man, just, the, just I really do think that this is probably a better bang for your buck. If you're looking for uh, like wearability as well as the quality of the suede, uh, I do like this one a lot more. If you don't like nappy and long-haired suede, go with this. This is a nice blend of like short-haired suede and nubuck. Uh, as well as if you want, again, the Jown name, go for this, but I really like these. The V4s are also very, very killer. They come with two pairs of laces and elastic as well as a classic rope lace. Uh, if you guys can find this, I don't know what the prices are going for right now. They weren't going for much after release just because a lot of people don't like them. Uh, but I actually really do like these. These are like, like top three, like I said. Um, the dark blue, or the dark navy basically, and the black, I think just kill it, kill it for me. It's so good. And if you guys just want step-by-step step, like this, yeah, these are nice. These are, these I really like. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the V3s. Um, I will do an on foot really quickly just so that you guys can get um, a good idea of the shape uh, of the shoe as well as like an on foot look. Um, I will have uh, the Joe Fresh Good Baby Blues coming in. I'm pretty excited about that, but that could be probably early June when I get those in, um, as well as I will be having the I'll finally complete my Notre Vans review. Uh, that one has been on the back burner for a while. Um, and then I'll try and sprinkle in some other videos. Please leave in the comments what you guys wanna see and I will try and fulfill them. Thanks again and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.